Hi guys and welcome to another best possible slash highest rated squad builder by myself Bates and 87. Today we are doing new Ventus. Features a lot of the team of seasons thrown into packs this week and uh, also a lot of players which I presume a lot of you guys will have been using in draft. So, heads up, we're not going to be moving Morata to camp. So, unfortunately, he makes it to the bench same with Quadrado and also Benucci doesn't get a look into the team. The Juventus team, actually, apart from the superstar players, is actually very low rated and we do see a few of them added into the team. So, if you guys do want MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes, go and check out G2A.com. Their link is down below. If we're trying to hit over 5,000 likes, that would be absolutely brilliant. And, guys, subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already we've done loads of high rated uh, best possible squad builders recently and uh, hopefully you guys have been keeping up to date on them so like i said guys we are doing juventus which is in the Serie A, obviously and uh, we do start off with a 93 rated buffon which i was lucky enough to pack as well um not played with the team yet guys we're going to play with it after i've done this squad builder part on the right, left hand side center back position we do go with barzagli and guess what guys i was lucky enough to pack this guy as well uh, if you guys haven't seen the pack opening videos definitely go and check them out in the center back position on the right hand side we do go the inform Chiellini this guy's price actually flew up um, because of the fact that he wasn't in team of the season and he's actually quite a rare card but he has dropped in price now um, but nonetheless he's still one of the best centre backs in the Serie A uh, Barzagli I'm interested to see how Barzagli plays hopefully like a beast in the left back position guys we do go with the team of the season Alexandro 90 pace 87 dribbling 88 defending 84 physical and 83 pay, uh, passing yeah yeah solid little player actually I do like Evra but Alexandro I've always had a thing for him and uh, really like including him. In the right back position, on the, obviously the right hand side, we do go with Lichstein and make it into the team. The low rated right back, but a very, very good one at that. I can already tell that this defence is going to be absolutely ridiculous. And uh, I don't even think, I, I, I'm going to find it very rare that my opponent's going to break through my midfield because it is fucking overpowered. CDM, well, centre mid, left hand side. We go with team of the year, Pogba. On the right hand side, we go with our man, team of the season Marquisio um, very very good player and I think I packed him but I, this one might be bought yeah this one's bought but I packed him about three times now I think Pogba might be packed no Pogba's bought as well crazy and then in the CM position on the left hand side and in the middle guys we go with a defensive minded player and it is a really good one and a lot of people don't use him I've not seen him in many Serie A teams even during the tournament and it is the German Kadira finishing off the free centre midfield position now in the attack one player I don't like, and you'll see him in a sec, but the cam to striker position is sick. In the cam position, we go with Pereira, um, obviously a perfect link to my man, team of the season, Dybala, which I was unable to pack, actually. Um, actually, as I'm making this video, still plenty of days to pack him yet. And then on the left-hand side, guys, we do go with the inform Mandzukic, 84-rated striker, and uh, does the business very well. I say does the business. Last time I used him, I didn't really get on with him, and hopefully he performs a little bit better with the team how it is now, which is in the 4-3-1-2 form last time it was in a 3-5-2 so it's very very different hopefully it plays like a boss it is the highest rated Juventus team available in the, the thing with the stipulations guys where we don't un, don't move players more than two positions like Morata dropping him down to Cam otherwise, otherwise he would jump into the team as well uh, Quadrado missing out uh, obviously because the left side is very weak with Asamoah um, but yeah that's it done guys hopefully you enjoyed it if you have a like it would be very very much appreciated subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already and let's go and get into the highlights we did manage to get with the best possible Juventus team so guys with the change of formation this team had no wingers obviously but in the centre of midfield this team dominated defence wise actually we give up a few goals but I think it was the fact that I was just having a bad day on FIFA Dybala after using Dybala I had so much fun with him he's got a brilliant long shot brilliant finish inside the area very very skillful, uh, very agile as well, and uh, as you can see from this goal alone, guys, with the scoop turn and actually smack into the top corner, um, he's an outstanding player. But the, the one of the outstanding players in the team which I really enjoyed, and, and it, it doesn't get, really get shown actually because we conceded so many goals. Barzagli is so fast, so strong, and I think one of the reasons why I might have conceded that many goals, guys, is because of the work rate to the defence is all over the shop. Uh, with I think Barzagli has got low attacking and, and, and high defending, um, which causes a little bit of a rift in the defence. Defensive, it's not matching um, matching work rates, but with the likes of Pogba, Marquisio, and also Kadira, they benefit each other very well. Two of them go on the attack with Marquisio and Pogba, and Kadira always stays back. And with the Cam Pereira as well, very very solid player. Mandzukic yet again caused so many issues; it was unbelievable. Thankfully, um, Dybala is in the team to make up for them issues and score plenty of goals. So with the goalkeeper as well, Buffon pulled off some amazing saves, but conceded a lot of goals. Can't really rate the goalkeeper to be honest, guys, because uh, uh, you know what goalkeepers are like. Some Times absolutely brilliant, and other times are absolutely ridiculously shit. Um, and Alexandro definitely worth the pickup. Really enjoyed using Alexandro. Shame it's not a left midfield 
card because them, them stats would have suited him hella, hella perfect. Like, really, really good. Um, but yeah, Pereira, Dybala were the two main goal scorers of the team. Pogba's got a decent long shot and a decent free kick. Marquisio's also got a decent long shot as well. And uh, the dribbling of Dybala is just next level. No wonder Marshall's chosen him for the Fatal Series. Um, and probably he's going to go on and dick people with him as well because uh, he's like Marshall's perfect type of player. So, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And feel free to let me know if you want to see any more best possibles done in the next couple of weeks.